security now in Garissa County. Three people are being held in police custody after they were found with illegal weapons. The three, Aden Hassam Mohammed, Ibrahim Ali Guyo, and their driver were also found with explosive making materials yesterday. Nicholas Wambua with that story. Friday evening, the 18th day of January 2019, a driver, one Osman Shue Abubakar, driving a Toyota vehicle registration number KCK684Q, is approached by two men in Hosingo in Somalia. The two men, Aiden Hassan Mohammed, 22 years of age, and Ibrahim Ali Guyo, 19 years, both from Kismayu, order Osman to ferry them from Hosingo and cross the border to Hame in Kenya. On reaching Hame, the two unknown clients to Osman change their minds and order him to change route and head to Hagadera. The order comes with special instructions. Do not pass. Behind the wheels senses something is wrong with this journey from Somalia and now on Kenyan soil. He is heading to Anjogur and he has to act fast. Osman drives into a nearby administration police post at 1 p.m. unknown to his clients. Up move from commander. On arrival, the police act fast. Upon conducting a search on the vehicle and the occupants, they discover two pistols. A Seska pistol serial number 609101 loaded with 15 rounds. A Makarov pistol serial number 3846 loaded with 8 rounds and a white powder believed to be used in making explosives. They managed to recover two pistols and 23 rounds of ammunition. Now the security father interrogated these people, their motive, and they gave another information of their own. There was one person also within Hakadera who was waiting for these people. The three, Aden Hassan Mohammed, Ibrahim Guyo, and the driver Osman Abubakar, were arrested by police and locked up before they were transferred to Garissa. So, after the officers realized that there was another suspect within Hakadera, moved very fast, and they arrested the same same person. They also recovered one more pistol and. 13 rounds of ammunition. Now I'm making the total number of firearms to be three pistols and 36 rounds of ammunition. This event took place just a day after 20 civilians lost their lives in an attack in Nairobi city by people linked to Al Shabaab terror group with links in Somalia. Questions still continue to emerge of how safe the Kenyan borders and especially on the Somali side are. Police have begun investigations into the matter and have now launched a search for the three other persons they believe are working with the suspects in police custody. Nicholas Sombuwa, KT News in Nairobi.